Peter Block here in Washington, D.C. at ACC 17. Uh, I'm going to start this in a strange way. Radiation dose. Now, there's an interesting group of words, and we all worry about that as interventional cardiologists and as patients. And on my left is Alessandro Shabasi from Rome. And Alessandro has done an extraordinarily interesting study concerning radiation dose wrist versus femoral. So, Alessandro, Tell me quickly about your study and then we'll discuss this a little bit because it's near to my heart as well. The RAD matrix is the largest study today evaluating radiation dose for operator patients in the set in comparing uh, transfemoral and transcerebral approach in the setting of acute coronary syndromes. Expert operators were equipped with dedicated dosimeters in order to evaluate directly their radiation exposure. And the primary endpoint was the non-inferiority of the radiation dose for the operator at the thorax level because the, the, um, the dosimeters were placed at thorax level, left wrist level, and eye level, eyes level. Okay, so basically what you were trying to figure out is, is one equivalent to the other and you found? Unfortunately, the, the primary non-inferiority uh, endpoint was not met and the radial axis was associated with a significantly higher radiation dose for the operator, but also for the patient. And also, uh, we performed analysis in order to evaluate if there were differences between the left or the right radial axis. And we observed that the differences were confined to the right radial axis, and the left radial axis, no difference significant with the femoral group. And Another important point is the huge variability of radiation dose among the operators involved in the studies. And so this huge difference means that there is a lot of room for an improvement in the, the, in the radioprotective measure for many operators. So uh, we were talking before this interview and you mentioned that you were doing another trial where because of the positive outcomes that in fact this is positive in a negative way, right? You had more radiation from the radial, uh, that you're doing another trial with more protection. Is that correct? Yeah, exactly. In order to reduce the operator radiation exposure, we put an adjunctive protective drape on the pelvic region of the patient because most of the scattered radiation of, for the operator come from the pelvic bones of the patient. So when you put this adjunctive drapes, you can reduce the radiation dose for the operator below to the data observed in the femoral group. Does that change the radiation dose to the patient? Uh, no, we did not observe any significant difference for the patient. And also for the patient, the increase in, our, in the RAD matrix, the increase in the radiation dose is very small. Uh, so in, uh, in terms of equivalent dose, that it correlates with uh, the, uh, in, induction, the risk of uh, cancer induction is only one millisievert. It means that one procedure is associated with an increased risk of one case of, uh, of one cancer case every 35,000 procedure. But at the same time, transradial access can reduce death. So in the same study, one death is avoided every 166 procedure. So it's convenient for the patient. Well, it's a little bit more complex outcome then, isn't it? Certainly what the radio gives you more radiation, certainly to the operator, and uh, you may reduce the risk a little bit as well. So if you were going to have a heart cath next week and I was going to do it, tell me what you would prefer, Alessandro. Definitely radial. <laughs> okay, definitely radial, but with also a little bit of extra protection Yeah. for me. Yeah. Thank you.